Now it's time for some more sports, so get your goggles at the ready. We're going over to Claire Balding at the Aquatic Centre for an absolute treat. Sport Relief, we give you Paddy Kilty versus Greg James in event two. <gasps> Synchronised swimmings. Swimming. <laughs> Should we do it together? Should we do it together? Okay, you ready? Okay, you ready? Okay, okay. This is... Clash, Clash of the Titans! Titans. Thank you and welcome back to the Aquatic Centre, my wonderful crowd here. Hasn't the Clash of the Titans started in dramatic fashion? Over at the velodrome, we saw the men's elimination in which Freddie Flintoff fell off his bike. The race had to be restarted, he remounted, and then he won. Team Bishop are in front with 11 points. They won the men's elimination. And they lead Team Co, who are on 10 points. That will, however, ladies and gentlemen, inevitably change because the next event requires a different skill altogether. The next event here in this pool is synchronised swimming. We are going to see two routines. Luckily, both individuals from the Clash of the Titans teams are going to be helped out by the wonderful women from Aquabatics. But we're going to see two routines, the first of them by Patrick Kilty, the second from Greg James. Three judges who know what they're looking for will give their scores and those scores will be turned into points and we will find out which team wins. Now, this is something I was not allowed to do at the Olympics. Go backstage into the changing room and here in the changing room we find our competitors. Patrick Keelty is looking terrified. I'm, I'm sorry? You're looking terrified. Yes. <laughs> yes, terrified. But this is about finesse. It's about glamour. You have all of that. We have all of that and spirit. This is the finesse. This is the glamour. And this is the rest. Indeed. Just remember to hold your breath. Greg James here. Have you recovered from the cycling? Just about. I mean, I, I can barely walk. But that was a man's event. This is a dainty ladies' event. I am ready. I'm going to bring it home for Co. This, this, these, these girls are amazing. I've trained so hard for this. Have you? Yes, I really have. Everybody's laughing. No, no, no that's, but that's what training's been like. It's been, um, I've been going, right, let's do it. And they've just been laughing at me. So, but it's, it's fine. We're getting on really well. I think we're just going to give it our best go. Exactly. That is team spirit, the definition of I'm going to head back out here because this crowd cannot wait to see the competitors. I have seen them rehearsing earlier, and believe me, you are in for a treat. So a huge roar and a huge welcome, please, for the first of our synchronised swimming competitors. For Team Bishop, it's Patrick Keelty. Before Ellie Aldroyd takes over in the commentary box, we're going to see how Patrick enjoyed his training. I'm really looking forward to the synchronised swimming. John Bishop's ruined it for everybody, hasn't he, really? There used to be you could just do a sponsored walk and people would be happy. <laughs> this is going to be a shambles. Okay, let's do it. I'm ready. Start the car. Start the car. We're going to teach you on land. We put it land drill. Apparently, this is the most basic routine you can possibly do. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. This isn't good. No, big spiky fingers, though, so we don't look like a teapot. <laughs> I thought it was just going to be like lying on a lilo. And there's all this stuff just like jazz house. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Basically, this is like the Titanic. It is not going to get any better with water. I am a disgrace. I am an embarrassment. And I'm still going to beat Greg James. And so we have Patrick Keelty representing Team Bishop. He may be a stand-up comedian, but as you can see, he's taking this very seriously indeed. Nice of you, the props by the team, and they're in the water. Now watch as the girls get into position, as does Patrick. He chose this music himself. It's Happy, of course, by Pharrell. He thought this would create an upbeat mood, but what he forgot was it meant that it was going to be fast as well. A good leg work by Patrick and Aquabatics. 
He's selling this routine. He's got to be perfectly synchronized. That's what the judges are looking for. Nice ballet legs there. And here comes the big lift. And he sold that brilliantly. The girls looked like they were doing all the work underwater, but Patrick had to have good core strength, good finish. And he got the crowd behind him for every moment of that routine. Well done to Patrick. I think it's fair to say that he has never performed in a costume like that. It may well be that a costume like that has never been seen in the Aquatic Centre. That was the deck work and timed that really well. All the hard work that goes on underwater, as you can see the girls sculling with their hands. You can't touch the floor when you're doing synchronised swimming. And this is the big lift coming up at the end. That was good. Oh. I think I might just let Patrick recover. The judges have been analysing the underwater cameras. They've been watching from above. They've been assessing the reaction of the crowd. And the scores are in. Your scores, Patrick. From our three expert judges, you have a nine, a nine, and a ten for a total of 28 points. Well done to Patrick Keelty. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are now ready for our second performance and it comes from a man who likes to think of himself as the apprentice of synchronized swimming we give you greg james of team co and here is how greg got on in training with a little help from a local legend i'm greg james radio one dj and not a very good water baby. You know, if you go to your local swimming pool, you might go, oh, diving board. Go on then, Tom Daly. Tom Daly's actually here. No pressure. Let's go meet my team. Hi, everyone. My worry is the makeup. <laughs> is it waterproof? I'm not very coordinated, my limbs are too long, and I can't dance very well. <laughs> 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 Can you straighten your leg? I want some advice. Big, big match day. Pointy toes. So leg straight. Two, one. You close, you... Let's go swimming. Impossible. It's really difficult. I am out of my depth, but seeing Tom Daly there on that diving board has inspired me. Tom, I won't let you down. This is the Dance of the Nights by Prokofiev. And Greg may be representing Lord Co, but today he's channeling Lord Sugar. Although I don't think Lord Sugar has ever had a business suit quite like that. And the entry into the pool looked very neat here. Greg gets into position. Dynamic controlled this performance. He told me the hardest thing for him is remembering everything, getting everything in the right order, getting his legs, his arms in sync with the acrobatics girls. But that was good synchronization. Maybe his toes were not very pointy there. And the arm sequence there, that was good. He looked in time with the girls. And we're building up to the big lift. Watch as they prepare to push him out of the water. And good presentation by Greg. He got up really well there. Oh, that was mean, that was moody. Here was the start. Every business suit should have Velcro trousers. And you need to have extraordinary breath control and stamina to do this sport. They say it's like running the 400 meters while holding your breath and smiling at the same time. Well done. What even is life? What is <laughs> Um, Do you think you made Tom Daly proud? I think so. When we talked about the Olympic legacy, I feel like me checking that I hadn't fallen out in the water was <laughs> definitely in Seb Coe's mind. Uh, Have you made Seb Coe proud? I hope so. Lord, I hope I've made you proud. Um, these girls are incredible. Round of applause for my wonderful dancers.
Well, let's find out whether you and your dancers have done enough to overtake Patrick Kielty, who scored 28 points in total. The judges have scored you with an 8, a 10, and a 9, okay. which means a total of 27 points. can see Team Bishop celebrating Patrick Kilty's giving it the big I am. Ellie Aldroy can explain exactly what that means in terms of how it converts to the Dean competition in Clash of the Titans. Oh, I can tell that Greg looks absolutely gutted with that, but it means that Team Bishop score four points for the win and Team, team Co score two points as runners up. And that will be added to their tally. But I think it's fair to say that here, didn't we love Greg's routine? And we want to say a big well done to you. Thank you very, very much. And join us back here in the pool later on when the title will be decided. Well done, guys. <laughs>Those costumes are wrong on just every level. And they're, 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 they're quite difficult moves they're trying to execute. I thought they were actually really good. Yeah, really uh, good. But you can see that there's a very fine line between synchronised swimming <laughs> and synchronised uh, drowning. Uh, <laughs> uh, Davina, did that bring back any memories of that Lake Windermere by any chance? No. 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 no, no, no it was nice, that was warm, it was pretty, it was light. That was lovely. Mm. Very nice. OK. So after the uh, second event, Team Bishop has 15 points and Team Co has 12 points. Oh. Uh, the competition's really hotting up and about to get hotter because the third event, Rhythmic Gymnastics, <laughs> what else, is coming up very soon. Believe me, you are going to totally love it. All I'm going to say, right, is Lord Co in a leotard. Oh, woof, woof.